Gang, let's do a comic book haul. I got, I got three graded comics at a ridiculous price. One of them was fair value, but two of them were just insanely, insanely cheap. They were local buys. Okay. They were local buys, so there was no shipping involved. Okay. And so I didn't even, I didn't have to pay taxes on shipping. So I saved on shipping as well. Three CGC graded comics. Here's the first one. Let me take it out of the bag. New Avengers number seven from 2005. Okay, first appearance of the Illuminati. Century Wrecker and Mer Mary Hill appearance. Paul Jenkins cameo on last page. New Avengers number seven, right? Ended up paying nine dollars and fifty cents US for this. <laughs> and remember, local pickup, so there's no shipping shipping cost. Let me make sure I got that price right. Uh, yeah, nine dollars and fifty cents US for this. Okay just shipping this out to get it graded and having it come back would probably cost like 40 us in canada if not more okay so if you want to build yourself a cgc comic book collection okay if you want to build yourself a cgc comic book collection and here's the back you could build yourself a super cheap like inexpensive cgc comic book collection by going for stuff that isn't hot right now okay that isn't hot right now and i think this guy was selling this for a hundred dollars right so fantastic deal fantastic deal here's another one <laughs> this one the guy was selling it for 125 dollars right we ended up getting this one for 1050 US. Right? Stray Dogs number four. Okay. From 2021. The Demons movie poster homage homage cover. Okay. Graded at 9.8 for $10.50. And the Demons movie, it's a 1980s B horror movie. I don't know if uh, um, what do you call it? Any of you guys have seen it? Elder God, I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. It's weird. I I saw a lot of the horror movies, B horror movies, and I've seen them multiple times from the 1980s, but I haven't seen Demons. And it's about uh, these people that go into a movie theater, I believe, and uh, zombify, people become zombified, and eating each other, killing each other, and stuff like this. So, uh, super cool. $10.50. Great deal, great deal. And I was picking up this series, by the way, until I stopped uh, going to my comic book shop right so fantastic series what's this Kieran uh, Gillen here's a review K Kieran Gillen and it's a horror series I didn't read any I just picked it up right stray dog manages to somehow be a convincing uh, col collision between 101 Dalmatians and criminal noir charming and a really great take on quasi real dog psychology great cover demons stray dogs number four ten dollars and fifty cents so that's one thing if you're on budget which i am right uh, i'm just looking for really really amazing deals that their books are not hot and you can pick up the stuff super cheap super cheap Here's another CGC uh, graded comic, and the guy was selling this one for a hundred dollars. Right? I like the usage of the word "unleashed." Ah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> for dogs, sometimes a wicket has been unleashed. <laughs> the top, right? 
something wicked has been unleashed. <laughs> nice catch, Randall. And this one was fair value, in my opinion, anyway. That's what it's going for. It is still a great deal. This is uh, Spider-Man number one, Marvel, Marvel Comics Group, okay, from 2012. Um, and this is the first... Th this one I paid $28 US, okay. So that's the going price, so it's fair value. It's still a great deal, right, cheap. It's the first appearance of Peter Parker and... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, da, 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 uh, my, uh, Miles Morales, uh, right? So it's their first appearance, uh, and for future value and stuff like this, is a good, good, good place to at least get a copy, right? So twenty-eight dollars US for this, not a bad deal. And again, uh, no shipping involved, which makes it an even better deal, right? Uh, but still taxes that I had to pay on this. Right? So all four of these ended up costing fifty dollars something. Yeah, fifty almost fifty dollars US plus just taxes on it. Right? You have this issue. Nice. And check this out. We got a little package. <laughs> we got a little package. And this one is trading cards right you've seen this one before we're actually doing a reading on it right now and i only had one copy of this i wanted another copy because once we start reading we've only read the first 12 cards of this we've got to do the rest it's coup d'etat the assassination of jfk so this is my second copy of this and we do have this, uh, you know, reading of the first 12 cards done. And we're going to read the rest uh, this fall anyway, right? And again, I'll say this. There is more knowledge in these cards than in all of high school history class classes that you can take. Right? Here's card number one. Right. We've looked at all these. Well, we're going to look at all these. We've looked at the first 12. And ended up getting this one uh, at a good price if it was a local pickup so it was $15 let me let me check this out let's see I ended up paying I won this for 1550 Canadian okay the shipping ended up costing what was the shipping on this the shipping ended up costing $18 and it's from Canada okay and taxes ended up being four dollars something on this so on a 15 dollar item i paid four dollars in taxes right because they charge taxes on shipping as well so it ended up being like 26 percent 27 percent in taxes which is a total rip off right but still a good deal for this uh set of cards because they're going for a higher higher price um a couple of years ago they were cheaper right now uh, that was the cheapest I could find it. So it ended up costing like thirty-seven fifty or something Canadian. Okay. Oh God, I'm obsessed with first appearances. If I see it on a comic, I simply have to buy it. Yeah. Yes, first appearances, first, uh, first encounters, first reveals, first anything really. Uh, first of a series starting. The prices on them it's incredible i know a lot of uh, over the last few years uh, i've seen a lot of resellers a lot of people that were blowing out a lot of comics and they used to list hundreds of comics right uh, they've ran out like they don't have any more right uh, there's some warehouse sellers out there that have hundreds of thousands if not millions of copies of comics so they're they're constantly selling it but there were minor resellers that had you know a few thousand uh, feedback that used to be listing a lot of comic books and I've bought a lot of stuff from them over the last 10 years or so right but they're no longer around like they're they ran out of comics to sell and you know re and you know a seller is uh, is slowly getting to the end of their inventory is when they reduce the number of 
auctions they do and they just put buy it now and as some of the buyers have been buying from they're doing way less auctions now and they're doing buy it now because they're running low on inventory and once they blow those out that's it they got no more right uh rendo when are those printed these ones were printed we looked at these um these ones were printed late 80s i think late 80s i believe let's check it out coup d'etat assassination dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. it's not on the info card where is the info? is there a date on the info card no there is on the back of the things uh early 90s the text uh revised second coup d'etat trading cards revised second edition text copyright 1990 1992 paul branco art copyright 1990 1992 so second edition i didn't realize there was a first and second edition so this is the second printing on these things i don't know crazy so 1990 and then 1992 i have to cross reference this with the other set that i have see if the other set is uh, first edition or second edition so 1990 1992 these would be 1992 i'm not sure what the other ones were i'll have to take a look at them when we do the next reading we'll uh i'll try to bring these to see if there's any difference between if those those are the original uh print on them super cool i and i was buying comics from the comic book store at the time i had a pull list on a comic book store and i don't remember these cards in the comic book store uh, at the time i wasn't collecting cards uh, so maybe it just didn't cross uh, it, it didn't register with me but i don't remember seeing eclipse comics uh, comic book cards this one or uh, uh, coup d'etat or this is the coup d'etat the or rotten to the core uh, trading cards or drug war trading cards or any of those right oh my god elder god you got the first appearance of teenage mutant ninja turtles wow keep that well keep that safe that thing is only going to go up in value right famous last word but i think it's only going to go up in value uh, that's a that's a major key major key a few years ago you could have bought it for like a thousand bucks low copy for like 500 maybe right now i don't even know what it's going for a high grade copy would be going for easily 10 15 20 grand right artwork differs from the edition yeah i wonder too we'll have to put them uh, together see as long as that one is the first edition kebabs how are you doing cheers brother good to do a live stream i haven't been doing too many of these still in recoup mode and school season starting so this summer was we planned on doing a lot of work this summer but uh live streams and stuff like this but i got taken out i got taken out gang that's our comic book haul <laughs> nice haul nice haul on the down low on a budget and amazing buys amazing buys <laughs> 